Okay guys, welcome to a very quick tutorial in Unity. I'm gonna show you how to make this ice flow here, or if you don't fancy ice, I'm gonna show you how to make it a lava flow. So let's get stuck in. So the first thing I've done is downloaded this column here, but you can use this system with anything. And just to prove that, I'm gonna go over to the side and I'm gonna show you using basic objects from the game. I'm gonna use a cube. I'm gonna frame it on that cube. I'm going to flatten it down and I'm going to stretch it out long like this so that it can be a river of lava. The next thing I'm going to need is a material. I've just gone right click create material here to create this material and then I've downloaded from the internet a seamless lava texture and I've just run it through some third party software here called Crazy Bump, link in the description, to create the normals and the height map. I've then dragged the base texture, the normals and the height map into Unity, created that material and attached the base texture, the normal map here, it will ask you to fix when you do, you need to make sure you click fix, and then the height map here. And what I've now got is I've got a lava material like that. It's a little bit tiled here, but I did originally create it for the other object. The next thing I need to make this work is this script here, move texture. And I'm going to attach that script to this object. If we take a quick look at what that script does here, it's got a public float called scroll speed, which I've set to 0.1 F of a float here. You'll notice I can also change that in the inspector here for real time changes. I've then got a renderer, rend here. At the start, I'm going to get that component for renderer. And then the only bit of heavy lifting in this script, the update, I'm going to create a new float called move this, which is going to be equal to time dot time times scroll speed, this scroll speed variable that I've moved up here. And what that's going to do is it's going to render the material, set texture offset. I'm going to offset the texture that's on there. I'm going to make it move off its original alignment on the U and V axes. And I'm going to do this using a vector two. It's going to move zero in the U axis and whatever move this here that I've just created here in the V axis. And you can see that the lava texture is moving very slowly away from me here. If I click on that object and I change the scroll speed to minus, it will start to move the other way very slowly towards me. So in addition to that over here, I've got this lovely cave scene. I've downloaded these caves and you'll notice the light is flickering. What I've actually got in here is I've got one, two, three point lights, all with slightly different shades of orange. And I've used this light flicker text here, which is open source and available at this website, link in the description, to make the lights flicker on and off. You can see I've got a camera switcher, so I can switch back to the blue here or back to this. These are two separate scenes. I'll show you this in a second over here. So I've got these two scenes side by side. If we just go and take a quick look at the blue one over here, you'll see. So you'll see again, I've created a new material with right click create material. I've then added a seamless water texture that I've downloaded off the internet and that I've run through Crazy Bump again for normals and displacements. And I've dropped the base texture in albedo, the normal map and click fix and the height map here. And then I've just dragged this onto the object. And again, here I've got three point lights, this time a blue, a different shade, of turquoise and a blue. And they are also flickering using the light flicker effect. If I just drag one down, you'll see a much more pronounced flicker on there. Drag that smoothing up, change the maximum intensity. See it's killing the whole scene there. Drag it back down to roughly where it was and you get this lovely moving texture effect to create water, lava, or whatever else you like. Thank you very much for watching this quick Unity tutorial. Please hit subscribe. Thank you.